Oh, Eagle, Paul Anacone, Jimmy Arias. It's going to be a fun show. And guys, Andre Rublev, it's been an unbelievable year already. He's now won his seventh career title, five of them coming this year. He's booked his ticket to London. And he goes up against somebody, Jimmy, in, in Lorenzo Sinego, a lucky loser who gets all the way through to the final. And just to give you some perspective about how inexperienced he is compared to Rublev, despite both of them being somewhat young, when they were holding the trophy at the end, they had to tell Lorenzo Sinego for the pictures, no, no, you have it, you have it backwards. You need to, you need to turn <laughs> I mean, it. He has been in it. Sinego's been in a final before. He and he has a, he's a very lucky, lucky loser to make it all the way to the finals. And he's the only player in this tournament, to me, that seemed to be able to get through a match with Rublev without either defaulting or being injured. Because <laughs> yeah. in the quarterfinals, team finished the match, but he was injured in the second set. So a lot of great things for Sinego. He finished, but Rublev... I mean, the guy's playing next level sort of stuff this year all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, Noah, when Jimmy sends out the memo to wear the gray jacket, you wear the gray jacket. I know. I, I mean, I'm, I, that's the first, stri that's me a first strike game. against I know. you. Okay, that's the first thing. Second of all, Rublev's unbelievably hot, right? Five titles this year, three 500s, Jimmy. And one of the things that's so impressive about him is his ability to take the ball early. He gets up on the baseline, rushes. You can do it off of both sides, forehand and backhand. Sinego does need a little bit more time, but I'm a Sinego fan. I'm happy to see him progressing. Won the 250 on grass in Antalya last year. Needs a little bit more time, and it got stolen from him from Rublev today, but every time I watch Rublev play, I just get more and more impressed. He's improved a lot this year. Second serve, which used to be unbelievably vulnerable. It's still vulnerable, but it's way better than it was, so he's making a lot of progress. Well, we're going to stick with that point, and we're going to stick with the, the gray suit, the gray jacket to my right, and this is how it happened with Lorenzo Sinego and Andre Rublev. He has now won 20 of his last 21 matches. And, Paul, potentially the most impressive to that point about the serve, did not get broken once in the tournament. Oh, it was unbelievable. Until 5-4 in the first set, he lost two points on his first serve. I believe he was 16 of 18. Then at 5-4, he was down 15-40, a little nervy, but kept his nerve, came back and held. And he set that early tone by being aggressive and getting a lot of returns on Sinego quick and getting to the backhand. Look at the movement here. Sinego tried to come in a few times, tried to break up the rhythm, but I always felt like he was playing from a deficit. He was always trying to find his comfort and never really got it. And I think much of that was because of Rublev's ability just to steal time, to play offensive and early. Beautiful little volley there, and that was a huge point at 5-4, 15-30. Rublev is just improving in all aspects of the game and another 500 title. It's been really impressive for him this year. Five titles on the year for Andre Rublev, who came into 2020 with two to his name. So he has seven total. Five this year, which is most on tour, and Andre Rublev continues his red-hot play. And not to mention, Jimmy, I don't know if anybody can play with more jewelry on than Andre Rublev. On his wrist, on his neck, doesn't yes. matter. Yes. He's dominant chains, anyway. On, he? he does. Two and, chains. And hair. The guy hasn't had, That's time. A good point. Guy hasn't had time to have a haircut all year because he plays a match every single day. <laughs> so at some point, that could become a problem for him. But I'll tell you what, he hits the ball big from close to the baseline. That's the thing that's a little little bit it feels Andre Agassi like right, yep. and that he's taking a pretty big swing from close in Nikolai Davidenko is another Russian guy that played similar to him I felt like he needs some variety but maybe I'm maybe he doesn't need any variety just needs to continue crushing the ball yeah I think he you would normally say he would, but because he takes it so early, the players are always rushed. So unless you can get him on defense, he dictates with strength, so he doesn't need many slices. Those fast hands are unbelievably impressive, almost as impressive as Jimmy's ability to take his glasses on and off so Gina, his wife, doesn't get mad at him for wearing glasses. Well, now that take you pride <laughs> in not being able to see look, like me now, and Noah. Now that, now that you mention it, sorry, Gina, don't yell at me. You it's look Paul, good. You look distinguished like us, too. See, let's look at this. Well, Welcome to the glasses gang on These Tennis Channel Live. These two don't alive. actually need glasses. They're trying to look intelligent. Whoa, whoa. You're just revealing secrets? Sorry, what is this? Sorry. This is not how it works They're here on TC Live. talk about tennis. What's that? <laughs> no, no. We, that's the secondary thing here. Andre Rublev, as mentioned, we look at the updated standings in the race to London. He has officially clinched seventh spot with Roger Federer not playing at the end of the year. Last one up for grabs. Diego Schwartzman still in the lead over Matteo Berrettini. Those are really the two that are vying for that eighth and final. Final spot, Paul. Who's your biggest surprise up there, Jimmy? Anybody? Well, anyone that's under 5'8 that has a chance <laughs> is a shocker to me. I don't know when 
We got to look at the last time someone under 5'8 made it to the tour finals, but Diego Schwartzman has a great chance to do it. He's sort of my hero for obvious reasons. Mm. One of the best returners in the game, top three with Rafa and with Novak. Schwartzman has a good chance, but Berrettini indoors, big serve, big forehand. It's all going to come down this week in Paris. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah.